Now be a good girl and stay here while I grab some more yummies. Uh, no, never! I will not rest until you've been vanquished! Uh, damn you! It's useless. Once my slime hardens, a puny human like you won't be able to break out of it. Especially one who is powerless without a sharp stick. I assure you, I am more than just a monkey with a sharp stick. You will never break my stamina. You will not make me silent. Ah! Miu struggled, clenching her fists in an effort to try and free herself. The slime cracked here and there, but nothing indicated that it was ready to yield. Yes, yes, you are stuck, monkey. But you're kind of loud. It's giving me a headache. The slime girl playfully tapped her forehead as Miu continued her desperate attempts to break free. Just answer me this. Why do you spirits target us? You could go anywhere. You could spend your days hidden deep in the forest, and yet you constantly attack us, constantly throw our lives around like they were nothing. But the forest is boring. There isn't anyone around to play with aside from my sisters. You humans are such a curious bunch, but it's no fun when you all raise your swords, torches, and pitchforks whenever we visit. You know what else isn't fun? Having to rebuild our homes every time you visit. We do not want our lives ruined every time you're feeling bored and wish to play. We are not toys, you monster. We are humans, proud and wise, strong beings with souls and minds. We will not stand idly as you terrorize our people. I'm not too sure about pride and strength. You do realize that, if it wasn't for my slime, you'd be giving the villagers a show they wouldn't soon forget, don't you? Uh, uh, that, that, that's not... You're the one who... My clothes are... That, that's not important right now. If it wasn't for this goo, I would still have my clothes on. Fiend, monster, bratty little thing. Oh, so you want me to remove my slime? I guess you are kind of annoying with your nagging and all. Maybe I need to punish you a bit. The slime girl smiled mischievously at Mew as the slime that covered the girl started to compress, almost painfully so. Ah! This this is nothing compared to what the village has had to endure. I only came by to get some yummies. You're the one who decided to make a show out of it. You you took from many shops without paying for it. Ah! Actually, maybe I should wrap you up in a cocoon and drag you back to my home. Then I won't have to visit this village for someone to play with. If, if that's what it takes, I would do anything to protect this village and the people in it. If you promise that you'll not return to the village, then... You aren't exactly in any position to make demands. Stop! You can't go in there! There they are. Mako-chan, go! Use your magic! Right! The sound of running footsteps came from the crowd, when suddenly the slime girl felt her body growing warmer. Small flame sparks seemingly floated around her body, causing her body to slowly melt. At the same time, from amidst the crowd, three figures appeared to keep the slime girl from her prey. Two fox spirits, one muttering an incantation of sorts, while the other was hold holding some sort of ritualistic staff. Trailing behind them was the Nagita-wielding guard, accompanied by a young man. Please, Narumi-san, we're trying to help. I don't want to have to stop you. If you think you can save Miu, then okay. Just, just know that if any funny business goes down, I will chop your head clean off. R right. I hope the girls know what they're doing. Sakura, what are you doing here? You, fox! While the slime girl was being distracted by the fox spirits, I ran over to Miu's side, using all my strength to pull at the slime that covered her. However, all I seemed to manage was a slight tear. Freeing the girl was clearly going to take a while. They're here to help, so use your energy for something useful, like getting rid of this damn slime. Ah, Machiko, have you come by to play as well? Please, tell your sister to stop her spell. It feels rather tingly. Meiko, keep up the good work. No, Sakura, I have not come to play. You are a fool, a bubble-brained moron. Why are you harassing the villagers? If you wanted food, you know you could have come to the mansion. Meanie Machiko, you can't tell me what to do. Not to mention, the food from the village is tastier than the fruit at your place. Besides, I just wanted to play with them a bit. 
But then they started screaming, and this monkey girl with her sharp stick tried to scare me away. 